Well, another thing I want to talk about is Bill Cosby. The legacy of, I grew up on the Cosby show, the legacy of the Cosby show for me, the legacy of Hillman for me and a different world. What do you think about the legacy now of both those shows? I don't know what his legacy will be, but I think I'm glad they brought the Cosby show back because mm. it took it off, yes. remember? And it's still on And Hulu's, I thought yes. that would happen to a different world too, but for some reason, People forget that we're a spinoff from that show right, without Denise Lisa, Lisa being there. You right, know? Lisa Bonet. So we we survived that. We survived um, all of that. Um, I hope his work survives. Right, because honestly, the legacy of his work. I mean, the reason we're on an HBCU campus is because of, that's Cosby's idea. Right, it was brilliant to put to set it that way. Because he's sending out a message without saying it or broadcasting it, you know, and he put HBCUs on the map. He did. Especially on the West Coast. They didn't, people have never heard of it because they don't have black colleges on the West Coast. Or just in New York. It's, people didn't know about H. They just knew about yeah, maybe college. Yeah, that's what Kadeem said. He yeah. said, I never heard of it in New York. Yeah. Yeah. And well, So where were you when you saw that Bill Cosby headline? Did it like maybe, maybe touch you like, damn, what happened? Is it? I had heard mur murmuring before it was announced. Really? Before it came out. Yeah. What were you hearing? Just what you hear. People murmur. So I just tend not to repeat it. But okay. I wasn't, I was prepared when it came out. I wasn't prepared for the amount of people. Right. It just kept more and more and more women coming out was freaking me out. And how long, I mean, this is over what, 30 years? You know, so it was um, it was sad to me, and um, and I I I felt for my dad because my dad has they're like the same age, mm -hmm. and you know he has mad respect for him, and I just felt for all the people that admired him. You know, I think when he started talking about people and you know pull up your pants and um talking about um basically your generation about do this and do Speak that and, you know and yeah and all that i think um it was a little too saintly and maybe the backlash of that was clean up your back backyard before you start talking and the kind of it was um I didn't like the way he did it. I don't know why he did it when he was talking about the, our young men and stuff, because everybody can't do that, follow that road, mm -hmm. you know, and encourage them to get their education, but don't put down their style or you know what I mean? I don't know, I just thought the hip hop generation has their own vibe and language right. just like you know we did just like they did in the 60s and it could have been a moment for him to be more supportive than adding to that language of putting people down because right. they're from the hood or whatever you know right and I think the backlash of that was okay you ain't perfect because you know black people will protect you you know what I'm saying? They don't really, well, with an exception of Wendy Williams, probably, they're not putting your dirty laundry out there like that. Mm -hmm. they don't, you know what I mean? Just for the fun of it. Right. Because it, it brings us all down with you. Because we are one in that way. You know, when something happens, we go, I hope they ain't black. <laughs> you yes. know what I mean? Because, when a crime happens. Yes, not like, because it's like your brother, you know. Right, right. Oh, thank God it wasn't, he wasn't black. Because we all represent each other. Right. You know what I mean? So I hope his work remains as fruitful as it is. I mean, he changed generationally TV. Yes, he did.